I'm going to show you how to fit skirting. This can be a tricky job, but if you follow my instructions, you'll have no problem. And here's what we need to do the job. Drill, a saw, a miter box or miter saw, a hammer, screws, masonry nails, adhesive, panel pins, measuring tape, caulk or decorator's filler, wood fillers, Skirting boards, multi purpose detector, coping saw, planer. Measure the room and work out how much skirting you will need. Buy extra to allow for waste or bad cuts. Run a multi use detector around the wall and mark the location of studs, pipes, and cables. Always start with the longest walls first, as the offcuts can be used for the shorter walls. On your longest wall, you will most likely need two lengths of skirting to cover the wall. Use the miter box to sew a 45 degree angle at the end of your first board. Measure the distance from the end of your first board to the corner. Transfer the measurement onto the second piece of skirting. And once again, using your miter box to sew the opposing 45 degree angle to join up with the cut on your first board. Test fit the pieces and trim them using a planer until they give a flush finish. This is a more secure way of joining skirting. Next, fix the skirting to the wall. This can be done in a variety of ways. You can nail it to the wall using masonry nails. You can screw it to the plasterboard using wood screws and plasterboard fixings or glue it using suitable adhesive. This is a concrete wall so I'm using a masonry nail, but if it was a plasterboard wall I'd locate my studs and fix directly. Make sure the nails are flush with the skirting board. Use a suitable adhesive to join your mitre joints. Then secure with panel pins. Top tip. Rest your knee on an offcut of skirting when hammering in nails. This will put downward pressure on the skirting boards towards the floor. When joining skirting at an internal corner, cut the first length of skirting so it butts against the wall. Cut a 45 degree angle at the end of the second length of skirting and using a coping saw, cut at 90 degrees to the face of the board. Follow the grooves of the board with the coping saw. The second board should now slot into position with the first board. For an external corner, sew a 45 degree angle at the ends where the boards will meet. Test fit the pieces and trim them using a planer until they give a flush finish. Glue along the joint with a suitable adhesive, then secure with panel pins. Fill any nail heads or lines showing at the joints with caulk if you are painting the skirting or wood filler if you want a natural finish. Caulk around the top of the skirting board and fill any gaps left by uneven walls. And finally, I'm using a 90 degree butt joint against the architrave. It's an easy joint and a lovely way to finish the job. And there you go, that's how you fit skirting. Remember, take your time, measure twice and cut once. For more helpful hints and tips, go to woodiesdiy.com.